Hi, I'm Eric. And I'm Heather. And we are pre-engaged. Welcome to another pre-engaged mailbag video. Daniela from Orlando, Florida sent us this question. Recently, a very close friend of mine has been experiencing jealousy toward me, more specifically towards my relationship with my boyfriend, as she does not have a boyfriend herself. She is even slightly bothered when he calls me while we're hanging out together. We have discussed the matter and I have made suggestions, but she has decided to stop communicating with me for the summer and to seek God during this time and to see if her jealousy subsides. Any questions on how I should handle this? Well, sometimes it's difficult to see your friends get what they want um, when you want the same thing. It can kind of stir up these jealousy feelings. Maybe they don't make sense. Maybe you're mad at yourself for feeling them or your friend does. Um, I would say the fact that she says she's seeking God, she's on the right path, because this could be an insecurity thing. She might be insecure about the fact that you have a boyfriend before her. She could be insecure about the fact that maybe he'll take you away from her. You know, there's lots of possible reasons. It could be an immaturity issue, depending on how she's handling it. If she's, if she's angry with you for having a boyfriend or whatnot, that's probably immaturity speaking. But if she truly is seeking God, I'd say she's on the right path. Yeah. And new relationships represent change for existing relationships because you only have a finite amount of time. And so maybe she's wondering, you know, is she going to have enough time for me if this, you know, new boyfriend is in her life now? Or, you know, are we going to be as emotionally close as we used to be? So maybe she's, you know, struggling internally with that. And so that could be a factor. And this time apart could be um, a defense mechanism. She might be thinking, well, if she start spending all her time with him and if he ends up being a closer friend to her than I am she might pull away from me altogether so I think I'll just take some time away and push her away so that I can leave her before she leaves me I'm not saying that's what's happening but that is a possibility that she could be out of fear taking some time away so maybe if you do end up kind of going in a different direction that it won't hurt her as, as badly yeah and I would recommend not to take the separation personally, you know, um, you, you can't live to please others, you can only live to please God, uh, and obviously you can't please everyone. And so if she needs to take this time away to, you know, pray and ponder and, and you know, grow, that's perfectly fine. Different people, you know, need different things in different parts of their life. Um, so if, you know, if your friendship has been long term, it should be able to withstand that perfectly easy. Um, and if, um, and if there are battles that she continues to face, then other options may need to may need to come up. But. And I would say this too. She's a friend worth keeping, and you can ask yourself, you know, in the past, has she been one of these friends who's been there for me when I needed her? If I called her at 2 in the morning, would she be there? Um, has she, you know, have we had the kind of relationship where we build each other up, or is she bringing me down constantly? Um if she, if you evaluate the friendship and she is a friend worth keeping, I would recommend that during the separation time you write her a letter and in that letter let her know, first of all, how much she means to you. Give her specifics about what she means to you, um, things that she brings to your friendship that are important to you. Let her know that you are um, honoring this time away, that you're, you understand that she needs it, and then let her know that you are understanding her need for the time away, but that also you're available anytime she's ready to reconcile. And maybe that that added um, note that she really has a priority with you will kind of help her get over this, this jealous season. Yeah. And hopefully during this time, she's uh, trying to seek contentment in her life because, mm -hmm. the, you know, the Lord gives us various uh, things in her life at different times. Some people boyfriends, some people fiance, some people a husband, some people children, some people grandchildren. So different things at different points in our lives. And so, um, you know, if the Lord doesn't have a boyfriend for her at this point in time, maybe he's, you know, the Lord isn't ready for her to be dating someone right now. Maybe she needs to focus on being single and, and learning and preparing for marriage or focusing on some other task um, that he has for her. Because as a single person, you can serve the Lord much more faithfully than as a person in a relationship or a married person. That's very true. Um, and as hard as this is to talk about, if um, if she's truly not happy for you, if she's angry because you have something she wants, if she's not able to celebrate with you after taking some time away and seeking the Lord, if um, if it comes down to the fact that she's just so upset that you have something that she wants, it's time to let her go. Um, 
I wouldn't do this overnight. I wouldn't make this decision hastily. But friends, regardless of, of what we have that they want, they celebrate with us. If, you know, if down the road she wants a baby and you have a baby first, you'll want her to celebrate with you even though she is wanting what you have. So you need to, after some time, evaluate, is this friend bringing me down or lifting me up? And if she's constantly angry with you for having things she doesn't have, it's probably time to kind of let the relationship fizzle. Yeah. Uh, in summary, also, friendships are also often for a season. Sometimes that season is a few months. Sometimes it's a few years. Sometimes it's a few decades. Um, and so, you know, or sometimes it could be longer. We don't know how long they are, but friendships are often for a season, often for a time that the Lord has, you know, the, the two people together. And um, I know that in my life, you know, there's there's two places that I've lived, you know, previous to where I currently live now in, in Central Virginia. And I, I would have thought when I was living there that I would have kept up some of the relationships that I had there um, to this day, but a lot of them have faded away, partly because of geography and and just you know lack of time to nurture and, and keep that together. And and that's okay. Uh, friendships can be for a time, and you make new friends you know where you're located and and where you're at. And so um, that's that's um, not the easiest news to take. Um, but sometimes that's that's what the uh, honest truth is. So, well, if you'd like to see another pre-engaged mailbag video, please click on our contact form and send us a question. We'd love to hear from you and help you too. Grace be with you.